come on legs here's legs here's the mum so i'll do a quick video on um what i do with the kits when they're very young i start to handle them at this age so we're gonna have a bit of a look at Lagatha's kit and she is there it's a beautiful little ferret and um, her kits are old enough already I've already started handling them but I just want to show you about what age you should really start to handle them often here dogs you can have the leftover mints they'll be getting rabbit later There you go. See these kids now. And about this age, I might be keeping this one. I'm not too sure yet. She's a little girl. Look how fat they are. Jeez, they're healthy. But these kids now, they're about. I'll tell you exactly uh, at the end of the video how old they are just so I don't get it wrong but they're still very very young but even at this age you can start to handle them and they're all, these, these kits have already started to be handled so they don't bite at all and what I do is I make sure that I get every one of them so if you're breeding kits start to handle them now so that when you give them to other people that they're going to be used to them and they're not going to bite but none of these kids are aggressive. A couple of really dark ones here. Get used to out. And it doesn't take long, a couple of minutes each day. Each. And that's all it takes. Oh, you're a beauty. This one here is... It's a boy, isn't he? Yeah, boy. Both boys. Two boys. The two boys. So Legs has got seven. I'm not, I'll give you a look at Trixie's while we're here. Here's the growing. And a little bit younger and she's got nine you're all sleeping but it's pretty warm today it's probably about well it's warm for the kits anyway but they, luckily those cages are cool they're nice and cool this white one They're getting around really really good these kits that one's sleeping still got plenty of food in here too Hello little mate. How you doing? Have your water. You got plenty of water. Shoes too. Only two that haven't been handled today. You're a little bit sleepy mate. A little bit sleepy. Little girl, these are both little girls, I think. Oh, it's a boy. These are alike, but they're getting about fine. And that's all it takes just a, a couple of 20, you know, 20 or 30 seconds, just pick them up, get them used to being handled. You do that every day when they're this age, by the time they're ready to uh, be passed on to their forever homes hopefully they're forever homes, uh, they're quiet and they won't bite. And the only way they'll go backwards once you buy a kit and, and it's already been well handled is if you throw it in a cage and don't handle it at all and don't pay any attention to it. And that's, a, and that's it. Here's, I'll show you the dad. Hey Rip. He's a bloody monster mate. You've got so fat, look at you. You got fat. Yeah. You got fat. 
Rip. I'll show you the difference between him and Spike. You see the, the uh, body type on him. And we were, I was talking to Graham about that the other day. I just said, oh, Spike's a little bit longer, you know. He's a longer... This is more my type. He's more my type that I like. He's such a good ferret, Spike. And you see Spike, he's a bit, a bit longer. He's fluffy. He's a lot like Grace. Grace is a lot like him. And it's summertime, and he's and he's and he's still furry. Like most of the other ones, get a summer coat. But him and Grace, for whatever reason, they keep their their winter coat a lot longer. See all the other ferrets; most of them lost their summer their winter coat already. I'll give you a look at Trixie Gill, and she doesn't even look like she's had a little look. How fat she still is! It's as fat as anything, mate. She did. She was the same last last year. She had ten. And um, and she didn't even look like she'd had a litter by the end of it. All right, guys. So that's what I do with them. From I start them when they're this age. When they're this age, make sure they're getting plenty of food. I give them uh, a variety of food. What I just took out of there was beef mince mixed with calcium, calcium powder, and egg. Um, and they get that once a week and sometimes twice. Because I mix it. Look, too much raw egg. I only give them the egg yolks. I don't give them the white. I separate them. Plain in the water. Because uh, egg white can give them what's called, um, I think it's called biotine deficiency. So too many raw eggs is no good, if, especially if you're giving them the white. If you're giving them the yolk, it's fine, but it gives them the runs unless you mix it. Normally I'll mix it in a mush with the uh, dry food that I give them. Or I'll mix it with mince like that, mince and egg and calcium. And I'll take it out of there at the end of the day today. Just give it to the dogs, I'll let, they'll eat it, what's left. And um, and then they'll get fresh rabbit. And the dry food that I give them, it's... Um, whenever I give them dry food, I always try and give them egg to, to lift the, the protein content of the dry food. And the dry food I give them is a grain-free one, and it's uh, it's pretty expensive. It's about uh, 130 bucks a bag. But um, you know they're they're, they're your animals, so you got to feed them properly, don't you? People talk about paying for ferrets. If they see the food that I give them, by the time I sell these ferrets, uh, I don't make I'm not making much money off them, mate. I can tell you that. But you know I don't really do it for the money, all that much, at all. It's more of a love thing for me. All right, guys, that's just another day. We had a look at a couple of the ferrets. Here's uh, Tess. She's definitely pregnant. And she got put with with uh, Spike. So that's mother, father. And I've already got a couple of kits out of, out of that breeding, which is uh, Storm, Chewy, and Fang. So they're out of that, that breeding, that line. Um, the ones I got came out of Tess, which is Jess's full sister, but same breeding. So they'll be similar to those three ferrets, same breeding. But he is a lovely ferret, Spike, isn't he? Big, long, thin-faced ferret. And, and um, Rip was too when I first got him, but he's, he's buffed up, he's buffed up a bit. He's as fat as anything, mate. Jeez. They're not lacking food, that's for sure. Uh, I did put Grace, Grace, who came on heat. I'm not too sure if she'll get pregnant or not. I, I, when I put her in, she was um, she was sort of just ready, but she was starting to go off again. So um, I put her in with Spike for a day, and we'll see what happens in six weeks. Jeez, if I got a couple of kids out of here, I'd be really happy. Her and Spike are very similar in type. They're almost identical, like an only difference in size. And I'd love to get a couple of kits out of Grace before she, because uh, she'll be retired this year from breeding and from and from working. Slowly, I'll start to wean her off to working, and only take her out. Look, she's still going all right, but 
she's getting on, you know, like I don't want her getting beaten up and I'll take her out every now and again. But she's still going pretty good at the minute. If she has a litter of kits, she'd probably um, get a break for, for a couple of months. And then that'll be the end of her breeding. No more breeding for Grace. That'll be the end for her. But I do have a few from her line, so it's not as if I, have, I can't continue the line. Even if she doesn't have any kits now, I've still got Trixie, who's from that line. And I'll be keeping a couple of Trixie's kits, regardless. Um, so it's not all bad news. All right, guys, well, that's what I do with the, the young ferrets anyway. I'll just quickly uh, find out what date they were actually born on so I can tell you exactly how old they are. Back in a minute. All right, ferret breeding document. Um, Ragnar and Storm bred. No kits, which is disappointing. Rip and Lagatha. They, they were bred on the 5th of the 9th, 21. The kits were born on the 17th of the 10th. So we'll have a bit of a look. It's now the 27th of the 11th. So they're about five weeks old thereabouts. Uh, and if you see right down the bottom there, it says Spike and Grace bred 2050-11th, Spike and Jess bred on the 1st of the 11th. So she's got a way to go, but she's definitely pregnant. Looks like she's gonna, gonna have a few. And that's it. Rip and Trixie were bred. They were born on the 31st of the 10th. So they're almost a month old. Almost. All right, guys, that's it for another day. Whatever you're doing in life, make sure you enjoy. It goes past way too fast.